So the Galaxy A55 5G is now available from Samsung, but there's quite a few other options out there. Today we're seeing how it compares to the Pixel 8 to see which is the better option. So let's go ahead and get started. Pricing on these two might be a little misleading. The A55 is just under $450 where the Pixel is currently on sale for $549, normally $699, but it's usually on sale for quite a bit less. The downside is the Galaxy A55 is not available in the United States and it sounds like it might stay that way. So you'd have to get the international version which may or may not work with your career. Storage options for the A55 is 128 or 256 GB and it's got 6, 8 or even 12 GB of RAM depending on which storage option you go with versus 8 GB of RAM with the Pixel 8 and you have the option of 128 256 GB of storage. The screen sizes are going to be a little bit different. You've got a 6.2 inch OLED display with 1080x 2400 resolution on the Pixel versus a larger 6.6 .6 Super AMOLED display display with 1080x 2343 resolution on the Galaxy F5 and both have up to 120Hz thief. They both look really good in person when you're looking straight at them. But the Pixel looks a little brighter and has a little better viewing angles when compared to the A55. And they both have a finger fingerprint scanner right on the front of the screen. But the A55 seems to be a little more reliable in my use, although it does seem a little lower than I think, it should be the Pixel actually feels, feels like one of the few smaller phones out there, but they both have really nice build quality. The Galaxy phone is more boxy on the edges versus more curved or rounded on the Pixel 8. When it comes to the battery, you get a little larger 5000 mAh in the Galaxy A55 versus 4575 mAh for, for the Pixel 8. And in my typical battery drink test, the Galaxy A55 lasted about 14 hours versus only about 10 and a half for the Pixel 8. What you also get 25 watt charging for the Galaxy A55 versus 18 watt for the Pixel 8. One advantage for the Pixel 8 is you do have wireless charger where you don't have that option with the Galaxy A55. So if you want the phone with better battery life, I would probably go with the Galaxy A55. Software wise, things are going to be a little different between these two, even though they're both on Android 14. As of this video, it may come down to personal preference on which has the better software. I actually like things about both, but I feel like Samsung has a few extras. Like the edge panel over on the side, you've got the option of Google Discover or Samsung Free left of the home screen. And I feel like it's easier to connect to external drives to get files off of the phone with Samsung versus Pixel phones. With the Galaxy A55, you get four year software updates, but if you plan on keeping your phone even longer, the Pixel 8 is now offering seven years of software updates. Even if you upgrade your phone more often than that, I feel like you could sell or give the Pixel to someone else with plenty of life left on it. Performance wise, you get the Tensor G3 processor in the Pixel 8 versus an Exynos 1480 in the Galaxy A55. The Pixel is going to be a little more powerful and both single and multi-core scores and GPU score as well. Gaming is going to be a little better on the Pixel as well, but I feel like they're fairly close for the most part. I think both are going to be powerful enough to do some multitasking or whatever you would need to do. 
But if you want the phone with a little better performance, I would go with the Pixel 8. I don't think either phone has the loudest speakers out there, but they're really close in person. So it's probably a toss up to me on which one sounds better. When it comes to the cameras, I feel like it's pretty tough to beat Pixel phones for photos and typically Samsung does a better job. When it comes to video, although these two are fairly close, you get a 50 megapixel lens on the back of both and a 12 megapixel ultra wide for both phones, but you get an extra 5 megapixel macro lens on the Galaxy A55. Then a 10.5 megapixel on the front of the Pixel versus 32 megapixels on the Galaxy A55. You can also shoot up to 4K resolution for video recording on both, but you get 60 frames per second on the Pixel versus 30 frames per second on the Galaxy. I feel like it's fairly close between these two, but I probably prefer the Pixel slightly more. And I feel like it handles low light situations a little better. I don't think you can go wrong with either of these phones and I feel like they're pretty good options for the price. But I think there's a couple things that might sway you toward towards one over the If you like phones, tablets and other tag, I've got quite a few more things I'm working on. So you'll want to keep an eye out for those upcoming videos. So if you've made this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Ali from 5M Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.